So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our WAIC biology exam revision series, we have the ID 10 WAIC repeated questions to answer on the topic concepts of living. So guys, this video will be about the respiratory system. So in short, stay till the end of this video. Let's go ahead and start with the first question here. It says, a group of rats placed in an airtight box for some hours died because they A used up the available oxygen, B, breathed in A, containing nitrogen, C, ran short of energy, D, produced carbon dioxide. So guys, the answer to this question is option A here, and that's used up the available oxygen. So, since they are in an airtight space, there won't be room for more oxygen to flow in. And once they use up the available oxygen, they are bound to die. And that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question, guys. And that's question number two here. It says, the diagram below is an illustration of some structures used for gaseous exchange in humans. Study it and answer the question. So, guys, here is the structure here. And the question says, the part labeled III will be found in the a, sternum, B, lung, C, heart, D, kidney. So guys, obviously the answer to this question is option B here, and that's the lung. So that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. And that's question number three here. It says, which of the following structures of the human body provides the best surface for diffusion? We have A, stomach, B, esophagus, C, skin and D alveolus. So guys the answer to this question is option D here and that's the alveolus. So the alveolus is actually the part of the human body or the surface in the human body that provides the best surface for diffusion. So that's because of its structure and its conformation and that's why the alveolus allows for diffusion of air from the outside environment into the system. So every air that passes into the system has to go across the alveolus and then into the human system. So that's the best part of the human structure or the best part in the human body that provides the best surface for diffusion. That's the alveolus. And that's option D here. So that's it for that question, guys. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. That's question number four here. It says, which of the following structures would carry out respiration? We have A, the colorized leaf, B, germinating cowpea, C, boiled cowpea, D, dry leaf. So guys, the answer to this question here is option B, and that's germinating cowpea. So this is because of the fact that germinating cowpea will make use of the stored nutrients within it in the presence of oxygen to actually generate energy as it grows. So that's it for that. Other options here are not capable of carrying out respiration. So remember that respiration is a process that actually converts nutrients into energy in the presence of oxygen. And that's the case here for the germinating cowpea. So germinating cowpea is the answer to this question. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. And that's question number five here. It says, the stomata of a leaf performs the same function as A, liver of man, B, trachea of toads, C, pharynx of man, D, spiracles of insects. So guys, the answer to this question is option D here, and that's the spiracles of insects. So actually, the spiracles of insects are the openings that you have within the abdomen and thorax of insects. And this is actually connected to the tra trachea tube. And guys, it, it's actually a channel for passage of air and that's just the case as the stomach of leaf and that is for that question. 
So let's consider the next question, guys. That's question number six here. It says the structure that is that its action could result in choking when talking and eating at the same time is A, liver, B, epiglottis, C, stomach, and D, esophagus. So guys, the answer to this question is actually option B here, and that's the epiglottis. So the epiglottis is actually the flap-like structure that helps to cover the respiratory passageway when you are eating. And guys, if you are actually eating and talking at the same time, your vocal cords actually need to be open. And as such, if the epiglottis actually malfunctions at that point or opens up, the food might pass down into the respiratory way and result in choking. And that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. So that's question number seven here. It says, in cellular respiration, energy is made available to organism by A, removal of a phosphate group from ADP, B, breaking off a phosphate group from ATP, C, adding a phosphate group to glucose, D, breaking off a hydrogen ion from NADPH. So guys, the answer to this question is option B here, breaking off a phosphate group from ATP. And that's it for that question. Let's go ahead and consider the next question. That's question number eight here. It says, during anaerobic respiration in skeletal muscle, pyruvic acid is A, oxidized to ethanol, B, oxidized to lactic acid, C, reduced to lactic acid, and D, reduced to water. So guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's reduced to lactic acid. So let's go ahead and consider the next question. That's question number nine here. It says, the diagram below is an illustration of some structures used, used for gaseous exchange in humans. Study it and answer the question. So we have here the parts labeled I, 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 and I, respectively, are. We have A, larynx, bronchus, bronchio, and trachea. B, larynx, trachea. Bronchial and bronchus, C, bronchial, trachea, bronchials, and larynx, D, bronchus, bronchial, trachea, and larynx. So, guys, the structures here I is larynx, II is trachea, III here is bronchial, and IV is bronchus. So, guys, that's it for that question. Option B here is the answer to this question. So let's go ahead and consider the next and the last question. That's question number 10 here. It says, anaerobic respiration in the organism illustrated in the diagram below produces carbon dioxide and A, oxygen, B, glucose, C, ethanol, D, water. So guys, the answer to this question is option C here, and that's ethanol. So anaerobic respiration actually breaks down glucose in the absence of oxygen and it actually produces carbon dioxide and ethanol and that's it for this question. So guys, this is where we end this video for today. If you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not a subscriber. Also, if you have any specific question regarding this video, you can drop your question in the comment section below and we're sure to give you a response. So guys, we also want to encourage you to join our YouTube channel community where we post major updates on work examination. So this will be very helpful to you even as you prepare for your work examination for the year. So you can join this channel community by hitting the join button below and we'll see you right there. Thank you once again for watching this video and see you on the next one.